Hello, thank you for taking the time to listen to this video. Um, this video is going to be about a useful keys um, for ministering to people for healing. Um, I've prayed for Christians and non-Christians for healings and I've seen some uh, miraculous things happen when a, the God's powers has moved um, miraculously. And um, well, when I've been ministering to Christians about healing, um, some that are sick and have some infirmities, I usually go through a checklist. Uh, these these are some guidelines that I've used that have been really useful in the past when um, when praying for healings for people and laying hands on them. And one of the things that can stop healing sometimes that I've seen is the failure to forgive people for things that they have done to you regardless of what they've done and I know this is hard to, you know you could have parents that have um, hurt you um, people who have molested you um, done all sorts of things to you and um, these things are hard to, to forgive but um, if you have to forgive and that is one of the, the keys you have to forgive because Jesus Christ forgave us and, and he died on a cross for us and what right do we have regardless of how bad it is to, to hold unforgiveness towards people when he's forgiven us. And the word of God says that God can't forgive you if you can't forgive others. Um, so the, the need to forgive people is really important. And I've seen um, Christian, a Christian lady that I prayed for about three years ago with, uh, I prayed over her hands and I said to her, um, and this is God was leading me to say this, is there somebody you need to forgive? Can you think of them? And they said yes, and I said, and then I said, can you forgive them from your heart, and can you say it out loud? And she went and did it, and one of the she had an arthritis in four of her fingers, and one of her fingers straightened out. And she was the one who told me, look, my fingers straightened out when I forgave that person. So you, I saw an instantaneous healing because sometimes the spirit of infirmity can sit on that unforgiveness and it will not budge because you failed to forgive. And Satan is a legalist. Um, Honouring your parents is another one. Regardless of what, um, if you you know you may have some hatred towards them, you have to let it go. You have to let it go because you can come under God's curse. Curse is a man who um, holds his mother or father in contempt, and these curses come from God. So honour your parents. And what I get people to say is, I love you, mum. I love you, dad. And I honour you, uh, whether they're alive or deceased. And you'll feel. Um, God's love really pour down to the situation and, and oftentimes if, if um, the sickness is a, from a spiritual thing the spirit that's causing the infirmity can't stand the love of God and it confuses them. Um, renounce all idolatry. All the things that you have held up in your heart or enthroned in your heart higher than God. In God's sight it's idolatry and you can come under a curse from that and um, a spirit can sit on that um, unconfessed idolatry. Renounce all the sins of your ancestors. Sometimes um, if your ancestors and uh, generations back have been involved in the occult or involved in witchcraft or anything like that, a curse can come down through the family line or involved in idolatry as well. And through no fault of your own, you can be under um, a bondage from something that your ancestors do. So what I get people to say out loud as I renounce the sins of my ancestors in the name of Jesus and I forgive them in the name of Jesus and then the love of God and the Holy Spirit can move and if there's a spirit sitting on that or a curse it, 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 it has to go um, and you tell the demons to go in the name of Jesus and uh, renounce all involvement in the occult, the hidden area of God absolutely, it's a, if you read the book of Deuteronomy these blessings and curses are in there, curses that come on people for um, a lot of the things that I'm talking about in this list I've written out. Renounce all involvement in cult. The occult is an absolute abomination in God's sight. Renounce all involvement in the occult. And that's, you know, you can go through a lot of things of the occult horoscopes, um, uh, astrology, um, um, witchcraft, palm reading. All those things are an abomination in God's sight. If you read the book of Deuteronomy, you'll see what I mean. Um, these things are, are good guidelines that I've seen for for healings. 
and um, and do it in love. And this is not to be judgmental, but I have seen that doing these things um, can get some spiritual powers that may be afflicting people to move. And I hope that this has been helpful. And it's also good when you're praying with with the people for healing to pray, um, especially if there's a, a spirit afflicting them to have another person there as well, um, just to pray over them with you as you're um, getting this person to say these things. And I thank you for listening to this, and I hope hope it's been helpful to you. Bye.